Hello everybody, this is Mr. Omnition one and here we have yet another game of StarCraft 2. And this time around we're watching a game between a Zerg player, um, a fellow Team Liquidian, Pendane. He is our blue Zerg in the top right position. And then we have a red Protoss Lumberjack in the bottom left position. Um, this is a pretty good um, spawn positioning for the Zerg to allow him to get a bunch of bases. He'll be able to take his expansion, uh, his natural really easily. He'll be able to take his third really easily. He can take this gold um, without any pressure. And he can also take these two bases fairly easily too. Granted, this isn't um, nearly as huge. <laughs> oh boy. We have a little bit of uh, quotes of the song. Um, a tribute to Nick Tasteless. Um, he is a indeed a great commentator. But uh, nonetheless, we have, <laughs> as I was saying, we have, um, this isn't as important, these two base, or um, these spawn positions aren't as important in Protoss vs. Zerg as they are in Zerg vs. Terran. But um, they are still pretty crucial because taking your third as Zerg is pretty, um, pretty crucial for any race, actually. It's, the game is decided by who can take their third, the, most of the time it's decided by who can take their third. Um, most efficiently. So we have a little bit of a probe arrangement. Let's check out the APM. We have our buddy Pandane. He's spamming a total of 89 keys per minute. And then we have Lumberjack spamming a good 200 keys per minute. So, we, uh, granted, APM doesn't mean everything, but it definitely is pretty important. So it looks like Lumberjack is doing uh, something we haven't seen since the last patch. He's going for a fast expand forge. So he's gonna uh, once his forge finishes, he's gonna throw down a couple cannons and expand at the same time, and these cannons will allow him to um, expand pretty easily. Um, he might not use the um, original way of just building a wall in front of your cannon, so you can't be hit by roaches, which wouldn't be really advisable on this map, anyways. But uh, we have Pandane. He has three. He's expanding to. Ah, oh, that's dirty. <laughs> that's dirty. So uh, what happened is. Pendane, he built a um, hatchery right here, and then he immediately canceled it and followed it with an Evo chamber, which totally cancels um, Lumberjack's ability to build here. And when this, not only does this Evo chamber delay his expansion by so long, but this also, um, when this finally dies, this is going to kill, um, might not kill anything actually, but it's going to do quite a bit of damage, especially since he's throwing down these cannons. If this probe doesn't get out of there, he's probably going to die. But uh, it, it's really cheap considering how long you delay this expansion. And uh, Pandane is using this to advantage by expanding here to his natural. And he has um, he's getting gas now. His queen just popped. And he's really good about the um, <coughs> vomiting larva. And then Pandane, he has his pool up. And looks like he's uh, having a little bit of nerd laughter at the fact that Lumberjack is trying so hard to get his expansion. So Mr. Proby here is definitely going to die. And, oh no, he wisely pulls back, so... Oh, no, the Bridlings are going after him. Oh, oh, ah. So, Mr. Probing lives to see another day. So, Lumberjack is now going to expand. Uh, barely just enough room there. And, uh, he probably wants to build a pylon sometime soon. Oh, no, he already built it. What a good man. Um, a little bit of BM here. So, Pandane's trying to expand his creep. <laughs> He's trying to expand his creep, and uh, so that way this these this queen can run from base to base pretty easily. Pandane lumberjack going back and forth about whether or not Pandane can be banned for using that um, that little trick, and he definitely cannot because that's a totally legitimate trick. You're sacrificing money in order to delay his expansion, and Protoss does the same thing by building um, pylons there. Um, in order to block their expansion, so there's a little bit of BM there, just Lumberjack just being a little bit, a little bit of BM, a little angry. So Lumberjack is, um, Cybernetic Score just finished, and he's, um, instantly, um, or rather instantly, <laughs> not actually instantly, but I'm just gonna shut up now before I embarrass myself further. So, um, almost right off the bat, Chrono boosting this warp gate out, and he's getting a um, stalker right off the bat. He's throwing down two more gateways, probably see um, a third and maybe a fourth. 
as soon as he has the money for it, because you can su you can support about five or six gateways along with the robotics off of one base. So Pandain um, building some lings. Not sure why he built the lings, but he did build the lings. Probably more wise to turn those into um, drones instead. But it looks like he just wants to do a little bit of scouting here, so that's fine. Just making sure he's not taking another third cheesy. He's throwing down his Roach Warren. His lair just finished. So we'll see what he does with the lair. He's, let's see if he goes for uh, maybe burrowed Roach Tech. That would be neat to see. You haven't seen, don't see that very often. Maybe he'll be going for uh, Hydra, maybe Muta. You never know. But now we have five gateways on the field. And we'll probably see another one or maybe two Robo. That would be interesting. Um, Lumberjack is getting his expansion finally up and running. Uh, Pandane choosing not to take these two extractors quite yet, and we see Burrow coming up from a uh, um, lair, so maybe I was right. Maybe he is going for um, Burrowed Roach. Burrowed Roaches? That would be really awesome. I'd love to see that, actually. So an Overseer popping here, so we can do a Ooh! Lumberjack trying to take his third, but uh, these links are going to take real quick work of that. Take care of this uh, poor little stalker that was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Tried to be a little bit of a hero, but indeed, he was just spanked. Mr. Purple Dad, too. So now we have Lumberjack Chrono boosting out this uh, plus one weapons to make those zealots take out the builds the pylon and then immediately cancel it. That is an effective strategy. <laughs> uh, warp gate has finished, but uh, this plus one weapons will take will allow the zealots to kill these lings in two hits and not three, which is very uh, substantial. Not see right now the zealot does 16 damage per. Um, 16 damage per 1.2 seconds in game, which means that he would do about, um, now he does 18, and Lings die, or only have 35 HP and not 36 plus. So now he's going for, uh, Protoss Ground Armor as well. We have Pan, um, yeah, Pandane going, getting his third. He's going Hydra, um, not getting Roach Speed or, um, oh, he, now he's getting Roach Speed. Man, I'm good. Um, Interesting, he um, built Hydra Den and then let it get almost finished and then cancelled it. Um, not quite sure what that's all about. Maybe he decides he wants to go with Burrow Roaches, I don't know. But uh, Lumberjack, seeing as he knows that he can't get this third at the gold, he's decided to take the safe third at his na natural third, I guess you could say. Pandane trying to hide these links behind the palm trees, but indeed, Mengsk just says, No, you are not hidden. Lumberjack uh, has five zealots, I mean, no, five stalkers, a zealot, and a stock, uh, sentry. Wow, I'm tongue-tied. Uh, throwing down a robo. He's getting charged. No, it looks like he might be a little constricted here. Um, so he'll probably won't be seeing robo anytime soon. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> a little bit of a confrontation here. It looks like they wanted to do a little bit of smack, and Pandate managed to cancel this um, expansion again. So that's another... Um, 75 minerals gone, or actually probably closer to about 100, but uh, a lot of minerals gone for Lumberjack. He's had to cancel so many buildings, but uh, again, am I good or am I good? Five Warp Gate, two Robo, man, I'm like a psychic. No, I haven't watched this game before, but uh, Pandane now taking his two gases here. This expansion has just finished. He's now uh, beginning to saturate it, and now he's building the Hydrogen again. So I'm wondering if that was a little bit of a mistake canceling it before. Canceling it before. So Roach Speed has finished. We have um, Infestation Pit, and no Infestors. Um, looks like he just wants to um, have the ability to go up to um, Hive Tech when he wants. We have Hydra Den again. Evo Chamber researching um, a range attack or. Ranged damage, yeah. Pandane has not too good on the micro front right now. I mean, uh, macro front right now. He's at about 1400, eight, uh, 800. And Lumberjack's at about 500, 200. So they're both not looking not looking too hot. And uh, we have a little bit of um, <coughs> uh, contamination here from the Overseer. So that'll delay that Immortal just that much more. So that's pretty crucial right now. And um, we have... Thermal Lance is going up, which means we're going to be seeing Colossus, and uh, this mortal can finally continue building in his life, can finally be constructed once again. So more drones being transferred. Um, looks like he's being pretty 
uh, pretty decent as far as um, injecting larva goes. He's now going double upgrades. He's getting uh, ground carapace and again these attack uh, missile attack weapons of one. He's not researching Hydra uh, range, but he is getting Spire. It looks like he's just building every single building that he can build. I realize I just said like 18,000 building, or build, I'm, whatever. I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> so Lumberjack, he has three, five, seven, seven cannons. I don't know why he's building so many cannons. Maybe he's just kind of afraid of Muta. But uh, that's a heavy, heavy investment. So that's 7 times 100. So that's 7. That's about that's about 1,050 minerals that he could spend on units. So here we have Pandayan taking his fourth expansion. Just as his third finally gets saturated completely. So very nice timing. And he now has um, corruption or corruptors getting built just as this Thermal Lance finishes, which is going to be nice because these Colossus aren't going to be um, pretty hard countered by those um, Corruptors, but seeing as there's such a large count of uh, Stalkers, they uh, he's going to have to try and catch the... <clears throat> going to have to try and catch this Colossus off guard and out of position. So this hatch is just about to finish. We have the Spire has finished, um, obviously since there's Corruptors. Hydras are being built. A lot of Hydras, actually. So he's definitely going to be... Um, oh, he just, looks like he just finished Hydra range. So now Hydras have a range of 6, as opposed to, I think it's 5, which is pretty big. Um, they have about... I think they have the same range as... Um, no, they have one less range than Queens, but then again, Queens are not as useful. We have Lumberjack trying to take his fourth expansion up here in the top left. Um, main base and... <clears throat> Pandane just exp uh, just ex <laughs> just found out this scouting mutilisk. Looks like Lumberjack's a little angry about that, so he's moving his whole entire army. <laughs> uh, this is both of these armors are very um, very scary to the other player, and unfortunately, oh, oh, looks like there might be a little bit of a confrontation here. Oh, these these colossus can't be picked off by these corruptors. This is gonna be huge. They're not going to be able to do any damage to these Hydras. These Hydras are just going to walk all over this army. And Corruption has gone down on these Colossi. One Colossus goes down, and a lot of um, Zerg units are dying, but not many Hydras. Two Colossus go down. A lot of Stalkers have died. And three Colossus go down, and now the rest of these Hydras are just going to roll over this army. The Hydras just dominate um, any gateway units and um, Immortals. So it looks like Lumberjack is trying to stem the bleeding now. He's throwing down gateways all over the place. And by that I mean he's just building one. And we have Missile Attacks 2 coming from our, coming from our Zerg buddy. And he's going to try and take care of this expansion. Taking care of the cannons. And then he's just going to walk in and just take out this expansion just as it finishes. So that's a little bit of a, a miss. Uh, it sucks to be Lumberjack to say the least. So now Pandayan is building more Hydras more roaches, he's just getting, he's building his lead more and more, and, uh, looks like he's probably gonna lose all of his hydras, but, uh, at the trade of these two Colossus, because these Corruptors are gonna make real quick work with these Corruptor, I mean, uh, Colossus. So, it looks like he won't be able to take out the, uh, expansion, but he did delay it even more, and he did deal some, um, pretty solid damage, taking out about Oh, I don't know, 850 minerals worth of stuff. But uh, we have a second wave here coming in with a drone. This drone's going to be the hero drone, I can tell. It's going to get at least one kill. <laughs> Let's watch Mr. Hero Drone. We'll call him... I don't know, I can't think of a creative name that sounds like drone. Besides Mr. Drone. And... Oh, come on. Ah, Hero Drone died. It's so depressing. Anyways, I'm very bad at emotion. <laughs> I'm just going to shut up. So uh, this gold base is finally getting saturated. Um, Lumberjack deciding to expand in Pandayan's face, just saying, you know, granted you're about to take out my uh, fourth expansion, I don't care. I'm just gonna expand again, right there, because you know, it doesn't really matter to me. So um, this nexus is going to fall to all these hydras, and these 
Yeah, Colossus is gonna fall, and these. So it looks like this is gonna be game now. Um, Pandane is not building any more um, drones. He's just building fighting units at this point. Um, he's building a lot of lings, a lot of roaches, and Lumberjack says he's reporting for abuse, like a nub. So that's game, and um, that was pretty interesting. Um, uh, from both players, but there's a lot of expanding here in this game, and uh, really, really interesting, um, pretty core, solid um, builds. Um, they had really strong unit forces, and it um, Pandane just had better control and better um, counters to uh, Lumberjack's forces, but um, and Lumberjack also tied a lot of um, money up in all of these cannons that didn't really make much of a difference but um that's it and i hope you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys with my next video and yeah see you later